Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass! After leaving Goron Island and exploring DS Island, enemies are sighted it says, if we go on to get ourselves another treasure, shall we salvage in the meantime or shall we fight these weird new weird flying things? Well it seems I can hit them pretty easily, he says, they come, keep coming closer, they keep coming down from above, one of them's gone red. There's a big chain of them. Well, I don't mind, as long as Jolene goes past me, as she has done, I'm fine with that. So the question comes as to what to do next, apart from salvage. The only thing I can think of is to go check out that other island, so that's where we're headed. But first, treasure, treasure, treasure! And not getting hit as we turn, try to salvage is another good thing as well. Right, so we're going to have to deal with a lot of moving lines, aren't we? Whoa, waving me about, but I managed to deal with that. Just about. Only just. Let's keep going. Okay, lots of singular rupees. Not many in the region of 20 rupees or something like that. Need some more reward than just these singular ones, to be honest. Whew. This seems to be quite a deep path to tread through. And doesn't seem to be good for heading back up. So let's get going. Well, I'm not sure really if I want to go at speed like I'm trying to at the moment. Okay, you're just heading down. Oh, you're heading up again there. You can go away for a start, sir. I'm going to pilot through the middle of these with medium speed, he says, as he cranks it up yet again. Right, can make it through this passage fairly easily. But now, when we get through here is when we're going to deal with a lot of pushing, blowing guys. Well, that's said and done. I can take it up now. I don't mind if you blow me. Unless you blow me into another one, that would be horrible. Right, go up nice and fast, treasure chest. You can dodge that one. And I think we've made it out safely. Thank goodness. Well, another treasure is ours. What will it be? You got the wood handrail ship part. Oh, no. Oh, we don't need that, that's for sure. So plot a route, plot a route forward and round. Because there's another traveler ship over here to check out in the way. That is if Jolene doesn't come up and around in the meantime. I'm sure we can see her in the distance a little bit. Well, maybe not. Maybe she's just out of view, which is definitely how I prefer her. But she's coming up now. I think we might make it to the ship before anything happens. Ah, uh, Jolene, you're so close, but I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! You're not gonna spot me, honestly! Let's board this ship and find out what's going on. Alright then, who are you guys? Ho ho! Why can I not find them? Why not indeed? Explain. Ho ho! How very strange! Are you the leader then? All of a sudden, I can't see a thing! Ho ho! Hmm, hmm. You're looking at my face, aren't you, at close range? How terribly rude of me! I'm a member of the Ho-Ho tribe! Yes, indeed! Oh, so that's why you say it, is it? I came from the country of Way Away, across the ocean, looking for treasure. Certain items are treasure to the people of Way Away, and I'll buy them from you. Oh, really? I'll buy them for far more than any of the general stores around here, too. Like what? What? Like what? In the land of Way Away, everyone knows of the pink coral. I'd buy those for the sum of 76 rupees each. Might you be willing to sell the one you have? Sure. 76 rupees? That's not bad, surely. Can you spot any more treasures? Just pink coral. So you really want pink coral quite a bit. Well, maybe everyone else wants a different kind of thing. Oh, treasure, where'd you slumber, treasure? Oh, treasure hunting is much harder than it looks. Oh, yes, indeed. So they're all just treasure hunters, then. You're not looking for anything. Hmm, I dropped that thing somewhere. Things like that are truly hard to find with a naked eye. What? What thing? I don't know. Oh, oh what a sight! I'm, I'm sure. These guys, they're highly confusing. Pink coral! Is there a pink coral floating around somewhere? Well, I gave him a pink coral. It's all sorted now. There's a book on the table here. Can't read it or anything, though. Well, you guys seem to be completely baffling and useless. And you're looking with a magnifying glass at a painting. I'm sure you're going to find treasure that way. And so we just find ourselves more and more weird people. With that in mind, though, oh, can we even get there? 
But to be honest, we do have a cannon. So if we were going to try, I'd say explosions might work. Just a little bit. Hard turn to starboard, you say? There's no enemies around, I'm happy. We've managed to dodge Jolene. Hey, what's the deal with all this ice? We can't dock all this. I'm having one of my brilliant ideas. Blow it up. No, really. Do you see it already? Charter course around the icy isle. We're obliterated all with the cannon. Enemy sighted. What, you mean the... You mean the... the not really an enemy. Oh, no, there is actually an enemy here, isn't there? There's one in the sky. Right, well, that said, should we go towards it? No, I'm not sure. Uh, go round all the way around the aisle. We'll obliterate it with the cannon. I should be fine then, he says. We're hitting it from here. Oh, there we go. The ice is going down. I don't know what you guys are going to do anytime soon, but we have to hit you even more. But these eye guys are after us as well. I'm going to have to watch out for those. We're getting some of them down, but not other ones. And those eyes keep coming. I can only fire at that ice flow here. Leave me alone! I'm going to have to go around the island again at this rate. Surely all we really need to do, though, is just get the bit with the pier gone. All the same, let's keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Those guys, they make everything such a pain. I'd like you to all go away. That would be my pleasing thing. Please go away. Oh, more enemy sighted? Well, I don't care at the moment. All I care about is lowering the ice as much as possible. Well, that said, we only have two more to do. We need to plot a route to get there, though. Okay, we just need to go just here would be fine. Can you get rid of these eyes for me? Go away, eye. Oi, eye, eye. There we go, another one down. I do like the fact that you give me more money, but still. It's another one down. And that should be the final bit of cannon explosion. No ice is protecting this island anymore. All right, we blasted all of that ice and sent it sinking into the sea. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are waiting to welcome us. Or will they lash out at us? Either way, let's go there, Ollis. Oh, sure thing, sir. But at the moment, we got monsters chasing us, don't you know? It's usually not a very good thing. Where is it exactly at the moment? Oh, they left me alone, did they? Ah, good. That's nice to know. Nice and safe. Let's dock, finally. See what adventures we have in store for us now. At the Isle of Frost. A fire temple, an ice temple next? Well, kid. I was wondering what it'd be like walking on a big ice chunk. And now I know, it's real frosty. Sure is. There seems to be an actual proper town here. And these seem to be the town's people. Achoo! As cold as it is, it warms my treasure-seeking heart. Okay, fine, fine with me. I'm, I'm off. I want to see where these people are. Hello, you guys. You came from out there? Outside the ice? Hey, what's your deal? Never seen an Anouki before? A Anouki? Anouki? Hmm. That's, that's the pronunciation there. Anouki? Hmm. You gonna stare all day at us? Or can you talk too? What? You want to know where the pure metals are? How should I know? You gotta take a question like that to the island chief. Me? No idea. Do I have to do another quiz to get involved? Just wondering, just wondering. Well, we have ourselves a jigging, dancing, special delivery. Let's find out what this guy wants. Now, this is a letter from Gon Goron of the Gorons. Ahem, <clears throat> listen up. My brother, Gorolis. How are you doing? I have decided to work part-time on a southeastern sea isle. Okay, the guy was mentioning part-time work. Stop by if you're in the area, brother. I'll be the one rolled up in a ball and making a spectacle of myself. P.S. Enjoy the gift. Your brother, Gongoron. And we got a courage gem. Why, thank you, Gongoron. That's very nice for you, but it seems like the mini game's opened up now. Just as we leave it, and that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Farewell, flying postman. What do you guys want? You, guy, listen. 
I want to keep this between you and me. I've been dealing with a bit of a dilemma, if you know what I mean. I haven't had to deal with something like this in like a decade. Oh, you want to know what happened? I can't go telling you that. Do these lips look like they blab? Yes, they do, maybe. No, I don't know. You're going to have to ask the island chief. Sure thing. Well, seems the island chief's the most important person here. With that in mind, doesn't seem to be anything in this dead end. No treasure to find? Oh no! Well, let's get moving on. Find out what else is going on. Isle of Frost. The island chief lives in a house on the hill to the northeast. Well, let's keep going this way then for now. Is this an item shop? The home of a somewhat smart Anoki. You're somewhat smart, are you? Nobody thought the trouble between the Anoki and the Yuke was a good thing. So we Anoki and those hairy Yuke got together a hundred years ago and entered into a little peace agreement. I see. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair. Yeah. Well, what would you mean, was it fair? What's going on here? So was it fair? I'm going to ask peace. It's a peace treaty, you know? Peace. Peace is like... I think it's like a piece of cake. No, it's it's really not, sir. It's really not like a piece of cake, but you can keep believing what you want to believe. The Yuke tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That crazy, eh? Oh, that's terrible, I'm sure. But what's up here if I can make a jump or something along those lines? A treasure chest just out of reach. It's too bad I don't have a chicken somewhere near. This is the home of a more or less sensitive Anoki. The weird things that we find. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yuke has sneaked over here. Huh? What do you mean? I don't know, I'm just asking what do you mean as well. It's like, I don't even know really what a Yuke is, but I haven't really heard of it until you told me. What? You know? Hey, maybe. You're the hairy Yuke dressed up like one of us. Got me. What? Your Yuke? Uh, really? You serious? No, I'm not serious. Ah! You, you actually have decided to sit. I'm. S and now you've got confused. Okay then. These crazy people. I've never seen their species before, but they are weird. That is for sure. Huh? The pure metal, Azarine? What are you doing asking me about something important like that? That's what I'm wondering. That looks like the chieftain's place, doesn't it? So I say we go there first before getting into six houses full of these crazy people. What did you think? I think that, definitely. Because these guys, they are insane. What? You look for the island chief's house? I think it's just there. You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs they got around here. Well, that's rude. But I'm pretty sure it's probably here. Island Chief's house. Yes, it's very easy to notice the decadent top. Hi, Island Chief. Hopefully you're not as weird. You guy! I'm the Island Chief the Anuki. You got a name, Green Guy? What'd you say? Olizabu? So Olizabu? Olizabu? It's like Elizabeth, not Olizabu. My tribe's been having this trouble lately. Everyone wants to rename me lately as well. I thought maybe you'd take care of it for us. Um, yeah, hold on. What's that you say? You're saying your name's actually Oliz? You sure about that guy? Alright, alright, whatever you say. Anyway, you want to know about the Azarine, right? Ah, how'd you find out? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine. I guess. Well, this might get a little long, so make yourself real comfortable. Oh no! Where am I going to make myself comfortable to? We and Nuki have got one enemy on this island. They're the Yuke. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So a hundred years ago, we made an agreement. The Anuki live in the west. And those hairy Yuke live over in the east on the Great Ice Field. That was the deal. But now some tricky Yuke has snuck over here. And he's taken one of my villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us. All comfortable like. And now we come to the part where I need something from ya. Find the Yuke who's impersonating the villager and kick him out. Did you get all that? Do I have to repeat myself? No, I've got it, but I just don't, don't understand why. Yeah, alright. Go to the Inuki Estates up north, Ollis. When you get there, you got to figure out which guy is actually the Yuke. Yuke are liars. Every one of them. This one will lie to you. So don't be gullible. Maybe if you find him, I might tell you where the Azarine is. Just saying. Oh, this sounds painstakingly horrible. So I've got to quiz people now? What was that crazy island chief blabbering about? I'm glad my fairies agree with me that they're crazy. 
I get this weird feeling that he's not telling us the truth. But we're here for the pure metals. We'll just have to be careful. Let's go find the Uke so we can get that pure metal, Ollis. Okay. But to be honest, crazy people be crazy. Very hard to figure out what's going on at the moment. We and Uki and the Uke have been rivals for I don't know how long. I gotta be honest, I don't even know how it all got started. Well, that's just silly then, isn't it? You gotta know these things. There must be some kind of secret around here. Well, here's the way to the estates anyway. So I guess that Azarine pure metal thing was ours once. But then we got in a big spat with the Uke in the east and it got nabbed. Ah, so the chief was a bit lying then himself. That was like ages and ages ago. Well, he didn't exactly say what was going on with it. Grandpa used to rant all about it when we sat around the stew pot. Ah. So I've got to kick out a uke, but it's probably the uke I need to entreat with to get the Azarine. Right, the estates are here. Let's go looking around. Oh, my goodness. Why are there loads of signs? They say the same thing, do they? Each and every one? Okay, this is Fofo's house. And then there's like little protrusions off the Inuki estates on top of that. So let's start looking around. I'm going to tell that they're lying. Yeah, my name's Fofo, you heard that right. I'm sure you know this, but the Uke, they do nothing but lie. And Gumo never lies. Just saying, well, I don't know where who Gumo is. If Gumo never lies, then I don't even know if you're, you're telling the truth there. Who are you? I'm Hintobo. I hear things. I know people. And I heard you're looking for the liar. I can give you a hint, but it's not going to come cheap. No, no, no. I think I'll figure it out myself. Depending or not if it, how many people there are. I'm sure it'll work. Honest. Ooh, what's this guy going to say? Ooh, interesting. Gumo is not a liar, he'll say. Draw a line between here and the island chief's house. Someone buried something in the middle, but who knows if it's still there? Aha, cool. So with that said, between here and the island chief's house, someone buried something in the middle. So what, it would be here, kind of? Considering there's water in the middle? But all the same, I hope that's true. I like something buried, that's for sure. And what do you say, then? They call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me, but me and Dobo only tell the truth. Just thought I'd say that. So, supposedly... This guy tells the truth, and another guy tells the truth that I haven't met yet. And Gumo tells the truth. Who's lying here? My name's Alu. Between you and me, Kumu is lying. Well, you're the first one to, like, say negative stuff about someone. So I don't trust you already. All the others are saying which ones tell the truth. So you're Alu. Who are you? My name's Gumo. Ah, oh, you always tell the truth, supposedly. Either Fofo or Aru has got to be lying to you. Isn't that contradictory? I just wanted to tell you that. Because... Wait, is a logic string here or something like that? So this guy here says that this guy here, if you can see where I'm drawing, up above Link's head, is telling the truth. But this guy, uh, you know, the guy up here says that either this guy's a big fat liar or this guy's a big fat liar. But if that guy's a liar, then... Then th that guy's got to be a liar as well. Is that figuring it out? Because if Fofo... It was, it was Fofo, wasn't it? This was Fofo's house up here. If that guy's a liar... Then the other guy's... And then the other guy doesn't necessarily have to be a liar. Oh, I'm so confused. At the moment, Aru, you're looking the most suspicious to me. Yeah, I'm Kumu. And yeah, the Yuki you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. I say even Mazo or Aru. Oh, well, there's two for Aru now. This is very confusing. They call me Dobo. You're looking for the Yuke who's impersonating one of us. Yes, there's one easy way to tell, you know. The Yuke are liars, and Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. I just have to get that off my chest. So, two people never lie. But this guy says that the other guy tells the truth all the time. But this guy says that either that one or this one is a liar. Which would mean that that one's... Oh, I'm so confused. Probably... I, I, it's... Uh, uh, 
Uh, it's probably you. Aru, I'm sure it's you. What's with the funny look in your eyes? Making me nervous. You don't think that I'm the Uke, do you? Are you saying I'm the prime suspect? Yeah, you're the prime suspect, but I'm probably going to get things wrong, but... I'm not sure how this logic works, but... Get back, I said! Stay back, I'm innocent! Oh no, if you come at me, I swear I'll have to protect myself. Don't come any closer. Think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. All you have to do is say you made a mistake. I'll book him, Dano. Hey, how'd you figure it out? Ha! Huh. Because if Gumo's telling the truth, you had to be a liar, but then the contradiction would be that if Fingy was lying... Ah! It's... I, I'm... Yes. I guessed. Or oh, more to the point, you were the first one that said that someone lied and just fingered someone and said, Hey, look, he's to blame. That's what I went for! And I thought I had an amazing costume! You do? You're a Yuke? You look so innocent! You look just like a Roo! We don't even know what a Roo looks like! Don't do anything stupid and try to fight! Turn yourself in! Be qu That's rude! You can't just tell me to be quiet like that! If you yell anymore with that squeaky voice... Oh, it drives me wild! Um, do we have to fight now? Eek, he's some kind of monster! I'm gonna eat you! Why are you like that? No, I'm not tasty, I taste awful! Eek! I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like a delicious fruit! Whoa! Uh, of course not! Well, I could try and make a run for it, but I guess I might as well give in, now that I've been caught. Well, you're quite reasonable in the end. As a show of good faith, I'll show you something good! Wait right there! Don't do something! Uh, a bit worried. Uh, oof. Ouch. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it, Ollis? It was indeed. We went to all the trouble to find the Yuke and he blew us away. But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Well, let's go talk to the island chief and tell him what happened. He just blows us away repeatedly. He's gone now. Was there a way I could have snafooed him? Oh, no. Well, with the mysterious liar found... The only thing left for us to do is to find wherever this treasure is and talk to the chief to see if we can get further with the Ukes actually having possession of our metal. So things are not going well in terms of diplomacy if we're just going, hey, we're pointing people out and making them singled out and all that. Ugh, bit worried. So join me next time on Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass as we explore this Frosty Isle some more. Bye bye.